hi guys you're welcome back to my channel so today's video is a light one quote unquote i'm going to be giving my unpopular or popular or just random opinions on different things that i feel like i may not really want to make into a whole video so i'm just going to talk about them in this one and before i get started please it's nothing personal okay i'm not trying to fight <laughs> I'm not trying to fight anybody because the last unpopular opinions video that I did, somebody wanted to bite my head in the comments. Please, it's not that deep, okay? It, it, they're just my opinions, and to be honest, they can change. And I mean, you guys should also leave your own popular or unpopular opinions in the comments. I want to actually know. So, before we get started, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you also subscribe. Make sure that you leave a comment down below and make sure that you turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified of every single time that i post a new upload okay let's get into it my mm -hmm. first unpopular or popular or random opinion is that social media somehow contributes to how people do not know how to speak social media contributes to people's lack of communication skills and i feel like this is largely because of emojis and stickers i really I, I hate stickers so much. Like I just I don't get them. I don't get WhatsApp stickers. I I just don't. I will never get it. Okay, and I don't even want to get it. I just don't see the point. Emojis, stickers, gifs, or gifs, however that that thing is pronounced. I don't know. Those gifs, those gifs, they make the discourse more interesting, especially when it's on Twitter. But I feel like. People are seriously overusing these things, overusing emojis and overusing stickers and overusing memes. And it's like, can't you talk? And you see that these things actually show in your real life. When you're sending job applications or when you're sending emails or when it's time for you to do things in the professional space, you're not able to do them because all you keep doing is using abbreviations up and down on the social media. It's annoying. Even when you're talking with your friends, you'll be seeing people abbreviating like, like they're using to go. Are you okay? <laughs> I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I just feel like social media largely contributes to people's lack of communication skills. And even on Instagram, I believe Instagram is now allowing people to put GIFs or GIFs as replies in the comments it's like why are you trying so hard to reduce dialogue the essence of social media is to connect people so people can actually talk what are you putting what are you what are you doing anyway i spoke about this in another video i don't know which one is going to go up first but i really feel like people should learn how to start speaking and typing well even in your captions some of you will post pictures and you the caption will be like the flowing water of river jordan no punctuation nothing it's just there just word salad everywhere nobody can even read to understand what you're doing and at the end of the day the the, the goal of that post that you've made has been defeated like you're not achieving that goal because nobody understands what you're saying do you understand my point i don't want to think this so personally anyway this is what yeah. it is my next unpopular opinion is that there is nothing wrong with you approaching a man that you like and saying hey i like you I, I honestly don't see anything wrong in it and I understand why girls usually don't want to do it it's mainly because of maybe fear of rejection and the fact that we live in a patriarchal society especially in Nigeria where you expect the men to come and meet you even when we're doing traditional marriage it's the man that comes to the woman's house and not the other way around and I, I totally understand that but I feel like it's 2023 21st century if you see somebody you feel like you guys are going to vibe together and everything there's nothing wrong in making the first move the problem though is when you start to put in more energy than him like when you're putting in more energy than you're getting you guys are not just on the same frequency or when it looks like you're trying too hard it's it's bad either way for anybody to try so hard but i feel like that's where the problem is but as far as approaching somebody that you like a man I don't if you like be there darling you don't know that <laughs> you don't know that the dating pool is will be will be if you like be there darling i'll be doing oh what what if he says no a little no never killed anybody okay just take your l in peace i feel like men deal with l's every other day and yeah it's not a pleasant thing to experience but it's just one of those things if you move to somebody and the thing is not working out just take your l and go it's not it's really not that big of a deal 
he thinks that he should shall just carry it on from there shall not like you you want to be initiating everything that goes on between you people in your talking stage so <laughs> my next unpopular opinion is that a lot of people are too attached to animals wait just wait before you say anything i do not support animal cruelty it was this video on social media that was making rounds and i think an estate security person shot somebody's dog and this was like a harmless dog like all those small little puppies and that was just unnecessary you know it was those kinds of things are really painful and i tried so hard to avoid that story because i've lived with dogs all my life so i really really do love dogs but i feel like people domesticate them or domesticate animals let's just say dogs too too much and this case of the person that shot that dog that one is very different that's not what i'm talking about right now but i'm saying in cases of let's say you watch all these instagram videos and you see people keeping their dogs near their toddlers or near their children for what or when you see people bathing their dogs in their bathtub it's like to me i understand that yeah dogs have been domesticated and they're man's best friend and everything they are still animals okay but no matter what i will still see a dog as an animal that's what they are a dog will never be my child i'll never be a dog mom no that's an animal okay you know i just don't get it and maybe this doesn't apply to black people or to nigerians because nigerians don't we don't play all that black people don't do all that you know americans though or let's say white people in general are very very as in disturbingly comfortable with dogs and it is so weird especially with pit bulls and the way they're always mauling people to death it's it's the scariest thing and they're still so comfortable let me tell you guys something so there was this one time on twitter that i saw a video this video was going viral and it was a monkey washing plates in the kitchen like and the monkey was inside the water it was so disgusting because i'm like this is an animal why the hell i don't care how smart they are why is an animal washing the plates you're using to eat in your house and inside the water that it is using to wash those plates it was funny but it was very disturbing so i spoke out about it i was like this is so disgusting and like this is so wrong and somebody quoted my tweets like this person is a is an american okay a, a an african-american and he was like oh the monkey is probably even more vaccinated than us <laughs> You know when you see something, you know when you see something and you're like, what? I was like, who vaccinated the monkeys to wash plates? Nobody, nobody at all. Nobody, nobody did that. Why does anybody think it's okay for a monkey to be washing plates in the sink? And the monkey is inside the water. Oh God oh my god no people need to know where to draw the line an animal is an animal okay stop trying to over domesticate them it's actually kind of disgusting i still just believe that animals are animals and they should be treated as such my next quote unpopular or popular opinion is that everybody must not live in lagos okay and i'm not even talking about individuals For, for people like me now i grew up here and this is more or less like my home okay most of my life was lived in lagos in as much as i used to i still frequent my village i travel out of the country on some occasions most of my life has been lived in lagos and i can understand but people who keep migrating here i don't like if i were not living in lagos here maybe i grew up in abuja or a quiet bomb or something like that i will not want to move here because this place is a this place is a madhouse this crazy town okay it's it, what's good about lagos okay the nice life and finding friends which which friends safe for you even find to me this city is just so overrated like i wish that other companies and i know that it's not so easy because people just move to lagos because lagos is a commercial city and you know your business is more likely to thrive here but i feel like people should consider other states in nigeria in the north in the west even in the east states like let's say for your states now ogun states a lot of potential 
is in those places and i just don't get why everybody keeps migrating to lagos okay so what happens to the other places why can't people imagine if people started living there more often if if a lot of young people start moving to let's say Ogun state or enugu or anambra or even yobe more companies will, will probably be in quote forced to also migrate to those places to cater to their audiences for their business i know it's it's easier said than done don't even get me wrong i know all these things it's, it's easier to just say it than to do it but i feel like lagos is already so overpopulated when people talk about their house hunting in lagos it's like it's like a freaking horror story because they're giving you cake slices as houses and people are i don't i just don't get it like not everybody must live here please okay please if you're not even in lagos don't worry there's nothing you're not missing anything don't worry traffic what are you missing traffic noise no light bad road stop flooding no there's nothing to miss here everybody must not live here please all of you that are migrating here should go back my next popular or unpopular opinion is that bbls are actually really really ugly especially when they are not done well like there was this one <laughs> There was this one i saw today and i hope i can find it to insert the clip it was just absolutely disgusting i think that people don't it even infuriates me more when i see people that don't need bbls maybe you already have a naturally beautiful body and you can just maintain that by going to the gym and just eating well and things like that it's easier for you to do that because when you have a bbl you still need to do those things so why don't you just do it in the first place i mean i remember i made a video on this in 2021 i just think that they are so tacky and that whole body type i am so sick of it if it's not natural you don't need to force it it just looks ridiculous you look like a freaking fanta bottle it just doesn't look good in any way and i wish i want people to stop now celebrities are going and taking out their bbls and taking out their fillers and all those things and it's because they are realizing how ugly those things are and they're probably realizing everybody has access to it they don't want to be associated with things like that there are so many reasons why they may be towing that path of removing their bbls and things like that but i just feel like it's not necessary i've seen some that are actually really really good some plastic surgeons that maybe they perform some reconstruction on people's bodies mean people that are in quote oddly shaped and the results are actually really good and i'm so happy for them for those people that actually need it see, if they like it i love it i no issues with it at all but not when you already have a nice body you can just go to the gym to maintain you're going to get a bbl you look like a freaking you look like a bouncer okay you look like you look like basketballs were were attached to your ass it doesn't look good and that lagos bbl the most disgusting thing ever see if you want to get a bbl okay i'm not against it though if you want to get it just know what you're getting into know the repercussions know the dangers know all those things but let your bbl be as as smooth as scissors bbl scissors bbl is beautiful like it is actually good this is actually one of the best that i have seen my next unpopular or popular opinion is that women get really defensive sometimes when men talk about how they have encounters with women who smell funny down there and i honestly don't have a problem when men talk about things like that because i cannot relate to it that's number one and number two i feel like if you are straight if you are heterosexual i think it's only common sense for you to actually hear from the opposite sex what they are thinking about and how you actually need to maintain yourself it's just like if women come and talk about how men don't wash their their pee pee or they don't wash their ass crack and things like that men should also take cues from there and know that hey the concept of hygiene is not one-sided it doesn't only depend on women so men are not necessarily wrong for talking about how they have encounters with women who smell funny down there i'm saying this because there was this tweet that i saw people were talking about unpopular opinions when it comes to sex and somebody said that a lot of men don't say it but that many women actually smell funny down there and that's why maybe they don't want to go down on them or they don't want to do certain things with them or sometimes they even ghost them like i've had somebody come to ask me one time that there's this babe that i really really like what she smells how do i tell her that this thing needs to stop i don't think that there's anything wrong with having that discussion and when i saw that tweet so many women were cooking him they were like oh my god stay out of women's business oh my god sometimes it's this one it's not women's fault vagina is meant to smell like vagina I've made like two videos on this, so I really don't want to get into it. But I understand when people say vagina smells like vagina, and I know exactly what it smells like. 
okay it's not supposed to smell the way i know it smells when it smells bad okay i i know that bad smell and i know the regular normal smell the regular normal smell is like it's like when you're smelling the back of let's say something you plugged to the wall like maybe a ps4 or game console that you plugged that heat that comes from the back that's how it just smells it just smells like nothing you, you know it just smells like that it shouldn't smell like flowers it shouldn't smell like strawberries or all those things i agree vagina should smell like vagina doesn't mean that it should smell terrible it just means it should smell like nothing so when men say oh my god some women smell really bad down there don't be defensive about it i even saw one girl saying oh women it's not your fault it's not your fault so whose fault is it like are you I, I understand that yeah men could propagate these things maybe because they have multiple sexual partners and they could throw off your ph balance if you're having sex with them and things like that but at the end of the day who owns the vagina is it you or the man if he has done the things that he's not supposed to do and he has thrown your your ph balance off will you now just stay and say okay ah they've thrown my ph balance off oh ah, i cannot do anything i'm just going to leave it like that that's how it's supposed to smell no if the deed has been done yes it has been done but what are you doing afterwards are you actually trying to solve the problem or are you trying to absolve yourself of every kind of accountability because this thing is not hard if you're hearing people saying things like that it's only right for you to be very conscious about it i'm going to link those two videos in the card so you guys can watch i don't want to start getting into it but i didn't see anything wrong with that tweet at all and i hated how women were just being so disingenuous about it like relax you don't need to be defensive you guys shit on you stupid things that men do every day rightfully so and when the quote favor is being returned you don't need to get defensive about it my two cents on the matter so my next opinion is that moving out of your parents house is absolutely necessary and i'm not saying that everybody must move out of their, of their parents houses um some people have very you know tolerant or very cool easygoing parents and some people don't i feel like at some point you should actually come out of your bubble come out of that place where you've lived all your life and just experience life and know what life is outside of your quote comfort zone and even if you don't want to leave your comfort zone no problem there's no reward for suffering bro i just personally feel like it's important for you to move out and experience life on your own experience some level of independence and just get to know yourself outside of what you are currently used to and i think this applies to both men and women i know that people will always say oh as a girl you should remain in your father's house until you get married bullshit we're no longer in in 1968 nobody's doing that thing anymore stay on your own and be independent doesn't mean that you're wayward doesn't mean that you're a bad person it just means that you're a human being who is capable of taking care of herself or taking care of himself there's nothing wrong with it so my last opinion finally is that there is absolutely nothing wrong with getting married early i know that people always say oh you have to you have to make the decision at a very very mature age well, what do you know at 23 what do you know at 30 you could wait until you're 35 and still make the wrong choice marrying early is even i think is even way better if i'm being very honest with you i think it's better but i feel like it just depends on whoever wants to do it if you're somebody that wants to get married later in life then you can walk towards that people do things according to however they want it i mean life is not black or white and sometimes life just doesn't go as you've planned it to go but i just feel like generally it's better it's like you have your kids on time they grow up on time they leave the house you get to rest you get to enjoy the rest of your marriage with your partner you start your life early but i can really understand why we don't get married as early as as people used to and it's because of how the economy is very different and the whole gender war thing it's so difficult to find a spouse the dating pool is filled with pp it's it's so messy right now and i can understand why people are not getting married as early as before and there's nothing wrong with that but i'm just saying that i don't see anything wrong in getting married in your early 20s because people will be like oh you don't know anything it's honestly not always the case you you get to have your children in your youth and take care of them be there for them have the same energy with them you know you're still very vibrant and it's not easy like none of these things is easy but i don't say anything wrong with it i just think it's better just my opinion thank you guys for watching this video i hope that i did not ruffle any feathers too much i hope i did not offend people too much by anything that i said again it's just my opinion it's not that deep 
don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to also subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you'll be notified of every single time that i post a new upload thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye